Do you have to put an ID? No, no just the green one. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, there's already a test test. You can put, add the number one or something. So it's touch screen and we have wireless mouse and keyboard. And then you click on the instrument. Okay. And then we'll do right eye. But if you're doing one eye at a time, both eyes, you click the left one too. I don't think it lets you do. Okay. Ah, just one at a time. Yeah, I think it's just one at a time. And then you can use trial lenses that are in the, the instrument, or mm -hmm. you can use the patient's glasses. We usually do the patient's glasses. You well, can click that and still just figure it out what trial lens to stick in. Correct. Yeah. That doesn't really matter. And then next, and then you choose what test you want to run. So it says what test you want to run. It has the top ones start with G, which is for glaucoma stuff. So those are the wider fields, and then it has... M, anything starts with M is macula, so that's like the central 10. And then it's got 32. And then is there a bigger pool of tests to add to this? Or is yes, it just so these? So you can do create new examination. Okay. And then you click There they are. Here. So they've got glaucoma macula screening 28 and it's on the bottom. And then... Oh, and then they have Humphrey 24-2 and 30-2. Yeah, so they've got the 3, the 10, the 24, and the 30 for Humphrey, which is what most of us are used to. Or you could do their their custom one that they made up, the, the octopus, glaucoma macular 32. And then there's the screening. Okay. And then you can choose to do it. Um, let's see, you can do macula. You can choose to do like which one you want to do. And then it, sometimes it'll give you different methods. All right, let me highlight over. So normal, 10 minutes full threshold, dynamic full threshold thorough, and TOP full threshold. Pay ah, so this is just how fast they want you to figure it out, which is starting at two to four minutes for threshold, unless you wanted to get super accurate for science-y stuff. And then SAP stands for Standard Automated Parameter, of course. Okay. And then they have the glaucoma. That is same thing. You just pick mm -hmm. whether you want the, the fast one or the medium fast or the super long one. And these are all still threshold. And then Pulsar tests flicker and contrast sensitivity or the standard. Ah, so that'll do like the black and white shimmer lines, and then this one will do just a blink light. Great. And then it shows you what it's going to, oh, shows you the test locations. So you go through and pick those, but if you wanted the Humphrey, then 24-2. There we go. So then it's got the 24 with the extra little 30 degree for the nasal step stuff. And then you do, I do like the two minute threshold and, ooh, fixation target. So then it lets you pick. I usually do a point. They got to look at the middle dot, but it lets you choose a circle if you want, an outside in case their middle vision is messed up or a cross that's really more peripheral, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like 15, 20 degrees up, down, left, and right cross, but nothing in the middle in case they don't have good central vision, but you still wanted to get a visual field on them. And then next, so we'll do ring and next. Okay, what do we do here? Now it starts. So before we hit next, I have the patient put their forehead on the forehead rest because the forehead rest automatically adjusts. Okay. Does the adjustment for the patient, how close they are to it. Lens is on the minus side and the plus side. Okay. So if we forehead in there, ah, I see the circle. And then we patch their left eye to uh -huh. the right eye first. Yeah. So they're going to see that circle in there and they patch 
one eye, they patched this eye. You can still kind of see sideways. So we'll, what we do, we'll go ahead and patch one eye so they could do their right eye. And then the forehead rest goes up and down. In and out. It goes in and out. Ah, so that goes in and out automatically. Let's see. Yes, if the patient's forehead is there, but while you're doing the test, if sometimes this looks dark or needs to move out, you can click this oh. to move them out. Let me hold that on there out. and I'll put mm -hmm. my forehead in there. We'll see what it looks like. Can you see my eye? Yes, so bring your head up a little bit. Okay, to your right. Nope, sorry, to your left. Right there. So then you can come closer or you can move them out. Good. 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 And then you just will do the start exam and then they just start. But it's very sensitive to for them to stay inside. So if they go outside, does it pause? It beeps. Ooh. It pauses and it beeps. Will you hold it on there and like mm -hmm. do me for a mm -hmm. second? We'll see how it goes. Yep. Okay. Tilt your head down just a little bit. Right there. So if you raise your head up a little bit, or move your head, uh -huh. that, and then you come back down, and then it finishes, it keeps going. Yeah. Just to be like that, and it pauses? Yep, so until you get recentered. And then it keeps going. Yep. There we go. Can you pass the pan and show what the inside looks like? Mm -hmm. There we go. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, right there. Let's see if we can see. Oh, it doesn't want to. Is it going? No. It knows. It says it's, your forehead's not touching the forehead rest. There we go. Does it say it's touching now? No. How about now? Patient is resting. So if their eyes are closed, if they don't see your pupil, it uh, will pause it. Shoot, so there's no cheating this thing. Well, it was showing me little blinky lights. Okay. And then it gives you the, okay. Let's go through and it was already, it was almost done. Let's go ahead and finish this one with okay. me. Okay. Um, so let's, yeah, we'll skip the other eye. Show results. So this grayscale. And then it has where you can choose to view it in different ways. So what ways are favorite ways? Ah, values. So then you get the numbers on there. Okay. Corrector grayscale. Okay. 
comparisons, but we don't have a previous field mm -hmm. to compare. Probability. Defect curve. Ah, good. Cluster analysis. That one's where they do, they lump together where the nerve fiber naturally flows. And so if you're missing a few in a specific quadrant of those, then it'll red flag it for you. Corrected cluster. It's even more accurate of the same thing. Polar analysis. Okay. Ah, and then it projects if you're missing something like a nasal step, then it'll on the bottom, then it'll project like a yellow on the top where it thinks that you should have, if we do an OCT, get that. So it's just a little bit faster and easier to compare with OCTs. Okay. And then you can view it like that. Ah, uh, where it shows you yeah, all of you the can things. Click on them and it'll tell See you. what it's saying. Okay. And then did we, oh, how, so we were printing. Right? We'd print so to it a, was connected to a printer, and then mm -hmm. if the printer's on, it will automatically, it was set up to automatically print out every patient. Mm -hmm. When they finished. When they finished, yeah. So we go, we would just go to print. We wouldn't even have, yeah. And it says choose your printout. As long as the printer's plugged in, you just hit what you wanted. I, yeah. Which could be single mm -hmm. eye or the multi display. Or this, mm -hmm. You just choose what you want. Correct. Right. If you want any additional printed out, they have it set up where it automatically is going to print this out without you having That's to click on it. That's the quick print. Yeah. Got it. That will automatically print. Got it. Okay. X. There we go. We'll go to file. Ah. And then it's got printer settings where you can let it choose. A different printer when you plug one in. Where does the printer plug into? There's the plug in the on and off button. That is Ethernet. That's nice. So that you can see it on other computers. Where is the printer plugged into? That's just the screw to take off the front. Mm -hmm. And that's the on off, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I wonder if it like bleeds. Ah, there we go. All the USBs. So it's just on the side of the screen. So this is the mouse and keyboard, and then it's still got three to hook up a printer. Okay. That's it, right? Yep. Okay. And if you wanted to do like patient's left eye, you just do the same thing. Yeah. And then this is just for if you type in the refraction, then it'll tell you it'll what trial lens is. Yeah. So we can, you kind of mental do that instead of typing it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. View. What is it? Toolbar status bar. Yeah. File. And then what if I did one and I'm trying to find it from yesterday? You would just type in the name right here. Right. And then these are in what? Oh, these are in the order of that we had most recently done, like yesterday's and then right. the day before. Mm -hmm. But it shows birthdays. Yeah. But it's in the order of most recent at the top. So that was the one that we just did. And this was someone maybe earlier today. Okay. Great. But you can still type their name because it only puts 500 on the right. most recents. Okay. Yeah. So it'll show someone even if they haven't been in. Okay, great. Let me hit close, test, test. Uh, there's nobody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks good.